What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Yo and Nerd. Hey, Black History Month, y'all. Yo, So what are we going to talk about today? Today, we are talking about Riri Williams. Who is Riri Williams? I'm going to let you know who Riri Williams is. Riri Williams is a 15-year-old black girl from Chicago who basically built her own Iron Man suit. Yes, 15 years old building Iron Man suit. She a genius, bro. A genius. So she started off basically just building her joint in her dorm room, right? Also, what you need to know, 15 years old, she's also in college, all right? She goes to MIT, all right? She a genius, bro. A genius. She catches the eye of Tony Stark, and then Tony Stark is like, you know, I'm going to help you. You feel me? I'm going to take you under my wing, right? So then Tony Stark goes into a coma. Riri out here doing it herself, making her own suit, you feel me? Tony Stark, being Tony Stark, makes an AI of himself, right? So the AI ends up helping her, you know, build a suit and continue on to be an Ironheart, right? So a little backstory about Riri and her life. She lost her father. He died. Her mom then got remarried to her stepfather, who is more so her father. And then he ends up dying. Him and her best friend. So Riri being a genius, she doesn't really make friends like that, right? So she made this one friend, Natalie. Natalie ends up getting shot the same day as her stepfather because, you know, gang violence, bruh, like they in Chicago. They end up just getting shot while at a picnic of all things. Fucked up. You know, she retreats more into herself after that, which then, you know, she goes really just into becoming Ironheart, you know? Tony makes his own AI to help her. She then makes her own AI, Natalie, later on. She ends up joining the champions and then teaming up, you know, with Miles and his crew, the champions. She also teams up with Shuri, which is dope. A nice little, you know, black girl magic right there. That's fire. One of the reasons I wanted to get y'all kind of hip into who Riri is because she's getting getting her own show with Disney Plus. Yes, she's getting her own show and I cannot wait, okay? During this Black History Month, I just recently went and bought, you know, her her first comic and then her own solo comic. I went and bought the volumes to get hip to her. And quickly, she became one of my favorite new superheroes. Easily, easily. I definitely like her more than I like Iron Man. Never really been an Iron Man fan, but I definitely like her more than I like Iron Man. One thing about Riri I love, she just, she kind of reminds me of my sister if she was a superhero. You feel me? She reminds me of like your everyday black girl, you know, that, you know, she, but she's a genius and it makes her own Iron Man suit. You feel me? Like, she quick with it, you know, she funny, she don't take no shit. You feel me? And so when I started reading her solo comic, Ironheart, it is written by Eve Ewing. Okay, and that is a, a black female from Chicago. It's like she's a poet, she's a visual artist, she's real dope. Like she's from Chicago writing Riri, who's also from Chicago, which it it works. Like it, it it was a great read. It seemed like it was authentic. It really seemed like it was authentic. Like Riri, you know, like it nothing seemed forced. You feel me? Like it seemed like she's just a real authentic character, and that's what I love about it. the way I look at Riri, I look at her the way I look at Duke Thomas and the way I look at Miles I think that she could be a great character for the future for like you know our kids could be looking up to Riri Miles Duke like these characters are the are those brand new heroes for a new era and then Riri is definitely that she is once Iron Man's gone I can easily see her being Iron Man she's only what 15 16 right now you feel me she got years of superhero and superhero and or whatever you call that to do you feel me so Please check out Riri Williams and please check it out before the show come out. And if you don't know, now your ass know. Peace, y'all.